hello guys welcome back it's been a little while unsurprisingly we are going thrifting today sarah and i are going to do a big savers shop tonight which is very exciting i am working from home today just finishing up and then i'm going to hop on the train and we're going to go to savers in footscray which is sort of northwest of melbourne city center and i'm very very excited i thought before i went i would just obviously say hi let you know what the plan is and also set a few sort of thrifting intentions i like to go in with you know a bit of a rough idea of some specifics that i'm looking for it's good to have a little look through upcoming events have a look through your wardrobe before you go and get a bit of an idea of a few things you want um but you still want to go in with an open mind because who knows what you're going to find at the thrift the thrift tells you what you want you don't tell the thrift but in saying that i am very much on the lookout for some silver heels i've got a night out in a couple of weeks and Last time I went to a savers, I thrifted a really cute little silver bag that I want to use for that night. So I'd love to find some cute little pointed toe 90s kitten heels. I feel like that's also just a really good staple color. I'm very into silver at the moment. And number two, I feel like my wardrobe is really lacking in like t-shirt basics. I thrifted this cute little um, grey t-shirt from a savers a while ago and I love it. I've worn it quite a bit. I feel like I don't really browse in the t-shirt section because it's like it's a bit boring when i come to get dressed i feel like i'm really lacking in those basics like a good white and a good black tee good quality is what i'm looking for yeah they're the main things that i'm looking for today um i'm always looking for midi skirts and knee-high cute heeled boots as well um so they're my two secondary items that i'm looking for but options are open we're gonna just find what we find and i cannot wait so let's go. Oh yes. She doesn't focus. Oh. Never. Did you even thrift if you didn't record a vlog as well? I don't know. Are you ready? <laughs> Is that dodgy as well? It's just like locked in. Oh, maybe head. that's what. Little three point turn. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> so we started off in the shoe section, which is my favorite section of the thrift shop. And I immediately found these little white heels, which I thought could be cute for like an engagement party vibe, maybe even a wedding shoe, who knows? We're looking ahead. Then I found these cute little silver heels. They weren't exactly what I was looking for, but I thought maybe they could be cute. Turns out they were way too big. I really love the color of this purple bag, but I think in the end it was just a bit too like prom for me and not fashion enough. I think the shape was kind of throwing me off a bit. Anyway, then I found this really cute 90s vibe scarf. I feel like with a really simple outfit, this could just be really fun, nice little pop of colour and goes with a lot of different things. So I put that in the basket and then I found another little 90s scarf. This was giving me very much like Lizzie McGuire vibes and if you've watched one of my videos before, you'll know I love a Lizzie McGuire moment. So she had to go straight in the basket. I then had a little look through the belts. I've been looking for a chunky silver sort of chain belt for a long time. And there were some cool chunky belts, very early 2000s moment, but yeah, nothing that was really catching my eye. I saw a TikTok the other day of a girl that thrifted two pairs of Sambas, so I thought I'd try my luck in the trainer section. Um, I've never thrifted a pair of trainers before. They're always just like worn out runners. I've never been lucky in that section. I then went to nightgowns, because last time I came to this Savers, there was some cute little frilly nightgowns, but this is all I was really finding, some Timon and Pumper vibes. They had a couple of nice little sort of silky moments, but nothing that was really screaming out to me. And they went to the coats and jackets section and immediately found this really cool like brown tweed trench coat. It was giving me all the 90s vibes. I didn't recognize the name of the designer, but it looked like very vintagey, the tag. Um, I thought it was quite a reasonable price as well for what it was. It was all lined really nicely and felt like good quality um, I just thought it'd be a really good staple for my wardrobe so popped it in the basket I then found this really really cool like quilted cream jacket I absolutely loved this um, and I actually went to buy this in the checkout and then realized there was a little stain on the back which I was very upset about this is me just having a little skim through all the rest of the jackets at absolute lightning speed I'm still on the hunt for a couple of like fun bright colored jackets maybe like a bright colored leather jacket or i don't know something that's a bit vintagey but also just like a pop of color for an outfit but um yeah there wasn't really anything here 
The one thing this place did have was some great staples. I found a really cool distressed dark denim jacket. So I thought I'd try that on. Um, I ended up realizing that I have something very similar. So I didn't get this, but um, devastated. I then headed over to the uh, dress section and this dress was giving me all the Speak Now vibes. Um, this dress section of this savers was giving me life. I found so many good pieces in here. Uh, on reflection, this is a bit mummish, but I really liked the fabric, the like purple mesh over the purple lining. I don't know, I thought it might be really flattering, but it was quite pretty. Um, and yeah, I think it was a Taylor Swift vibes that made me want to put it in my basket, but whatever. There is something with me at the moment about like 2000s dresses. Like if it looks like it would have been worn by the cast of Gossip Girl at some point, then I want it. I was obsessed with the top half of this dress, hated the bottom half, so I did end up leaving it. I then found this green jumpsuit. Um, on reflection, this isn't really my style, but I just had a vision for like summer, maybe at a barbecue. I just thought it could be a vibe. I liked the little keyhole cutout section at the front, um, but it ended up being too big anyway, so whatever. This dress I was obsessed with. I love like a corset fitted top half of a dress. I think it's so flattering. It's giving me like ballerina black swan. It had tulle under the skirt, so it was like really poofy and ballerinery and just very pretty. So yeah, I had to give her a go. I then hit the absolute 2000s prom dress jackpot. Um, this was so, so cute. I just wish the bottom half was a bit different, but this dress, please tell me that Serena Van Der Woodsen or even like Carrie Bradshaw wouldn't have worn this dress. Now that I'm thinking about it, it is definitely more like 90s Sex and the City vibes than it is 2000s, but um, it's just like the most me dress ever. And to find it in my size, I just felt like it was fate and I, I had to have it. So since I found those little white engagement party potential heels, I then found this white beaded embroidered flapper style dress with these little sort of gathered pleat sections on the skirt, which I thought was just so beautiful. I love the scoop neckline as well at the front and back. Um, I didn't know if this style would really suit me because I normally don't really suit drop waist things. It has to be a bit more fitted or at least show off my waist to really suit me. Um, but I thought I'd give her a go. I then found this black dress in the skirt section, but it's definitely a dress. And I thought this was very cute sort of beach vibes, like beach to bar moment, just kind of throw it on over a bikini. Um, I had another scan through the skirt. As I mentioned, I think at the start of the video, I'm always looking for good midi to maxi skirts. I feel like they're such a good staple. I thought the colours in this were really cute and I love the bottom of it. They're like cut off chiffon sort of vibes, but the closer I looked at it, it was a bit damaged and like not very well finished, unfortunately. So I left that one behind. Then found this blue pleated skirt, which I loved in terms of colour. I thought for summer this could be cute, but when I got it in a change room, I decided that the quality was just a bit too rubbish. So I did end up leaving that one behind. I was a little bit unsure about this at first. It's like a white cargo skirt over shorts. It's like a skirt situation. I thought maybe it could be a good summer staple. And then found this red oversized Converse tee in the men's section, which I thought was really cool, just for like a little casual running errands coffee outfit, just a bit edgy, a bit fun. And now we're onto a basics hunt, which I mentioned that I needed. Um, I found this really cute black long sleeve just a basic top, but I liked the sort of low V neckline and how it kind of like sat open like that. I thought that was kind of cool. This is giving me very like Juicy Couture <laughs> 2000s energy. Um, I thought it was kind of cool, but not really cool enough. I love the colors on this, but um, tell me why that guy's necklace is like bedazzled. The actual print on it was horrendous, but the thought was there. Um, I had a little look through the rest of the t-shirt section. There was a couple of cute little sort of cropped baby tees that I thought I'd throw in, um, but the rest of it was, yeah, as you can see, not really giving much. I know this is probably the most boring thing ever to thrift, but I have been needing just a good quality plain white t-shirt for so long, and this was absolutely perfect. I was very excited to find that. I then moved into the knits and immediately found this really cute blue knitted jumper, like roll neck jumper. Um, it was only from Cotton On, but I just really loved the color of it. I love that like electric blue kind of vibe. I thought it'd be a really fun sort of winter pop of color. And then I found this cream, really thin, casual slouchy jumper with the blue and black stripe going through the middle. Um, and again, I thought that was just a fun little sort of casual throw on piece. I thought it looked really nice with jeans, just kind of out and about. Had little brows through the rest of the knits. There were some cute pieces. There was a lot of red, as you can see. I did nearly pick up um, a red like roll neck jumper, but I remembered that I have bought, oh, here she is. Um, I have bought a red jumper quite recently. So um, 
I did put this back, although I did really like the sort of wide roll neck on this. I thought it was a really cool neckline. And then it was time to try on the most frantic part of any savers trip. Here was me stressing out, trying to get all of my items into the change room. I think the key here is to be as organized as possible, have a pile for each type of item and then have a clear yes and no situation. Otherwise, it's very easy to get overwhelmed. Obviously not gonna show you everything here, but a couple of things. These shoes were really cute and fit well, but they just felt very cheap. And the buckle wasn't a real buckle, it was like a little hook thing, so I wasn't a fan. I forgot to show you when I picked up these white boots. I thought they were so, so cute, um, but they were absolutely tiny. I don't know why I didn't check the size of them. I just kind of chucked them in, but that's all right. Just leave them for someone else. This is that red Converse tee, which I thought was cool, but I almost wish it was more oversized. It kind of just looked like a t-shirt that I would wear to bed, you know what I mean? Rather than being like really oversized and slouchy and cool. I tried to style it a bit better. I don't know, I feel like it was okay, but I just wasn't obsessed with it. You can actually see in this clip the things that Sarah ended up getting. So she bought this really cool, like tan-ish, brown-ish, genuine suede jacket. Um, it's sort of like a trench coat, but short. Um, just very, very cool, very vintagey piece. I feel like she's gonna wear that a lot. And she also ended up getting that really nice blue, like cornflower blue jumper, which had a cool detail. It looked like it's almost a sweater vest with the sleeves underneath, like separate, um, which I think will be a great staple. She nearly got that bag, but didn't in the end. And then these were her other two contenders, these two sort of basic jumpers, which I think both would have been great, but um, yeah, she tried not to overspend, so she didn't end up getting those. This is basically us spending 10 minutes trying to figure out what I'm gonna get and what I'm not gonna get because I was very overwhelmed by the amount of things I still had in my basket by the end of the try on. I say this in every single come through for me video, but I think it's so important to spend some time at the end of your shop, just going through everything in your basket again, adding up what everything's gonna cost you and figuring out what you're happy to spend and then making some decisions based off that and making some cuts. Also spend the time to go through everything again and look at the quality of items because it is so, so easy to miss little rips or little stains as I nearly did with that cream coat. I literally had it at the checkout before I noticed a stain. So yeah, make sure you take the time to just go through everything again and don't overspend for the sake of it. Oh, it is now a couple of days later and Time for a haul. I'm actually gonna do a bit of a try on haul today, which is a little bit different. Normally I just show you what I bought. Just to pre-warn you, I'm very pale at the moment. So just imagine all these things with a nice, fresh tan. The first items I'm gonna show you, I'm not gonna try on, because they're just very basic, but. So I ended up picking up the two basic tees. So just this white short sleeve t-shirt, a great basic, that was 349. And then I also got that black long sleeve V-neck top like a really low open v-neck that sits kind of open like that and that was 5.49 so just a couple of great basics um that i feel like i was lacking in my wardrobe not much to say about those the next item i ended up getting was the brown trench let me put it on for you so this was 22 dollars 49 cents obviously not with this jumper but I just feel like it's very chic, very sophisticated, adds a bit of sort of something extra to, an, uh, to a basic outfit. Even just with like jeans and a white tee, I feel like it just adds a little something extra. Show you up close so you can see the pattern. It's like brown and cream, almost like a tweed sort of pattern. Um, and then like tortoiseshell buttons all down the front. Just very chic, sophisticated, and I think for the price, it's very good, nice quality. My next item is this blue jumper. This was 9.49. Let me put this on for you so you can see. Here she is. I love it with these jeans actually. These jeans sit a little bit lower and this is quite cropped. Very cute, I really love this color, I think it's suits me i do suit like brighter pops of color i think and yeah i feel like it's just fun for like a little winter outfit just to add a bit of excitement you know again just the jeans trainers out and about or to work i feel like i'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this i wish i had this earlier in winter to be honest with you 
This is the next item. This was £7.79 and I love this jumper. It's such a like nice flattering fit. It's very like slouchy. I like the long sleeves. I like the wide neckline. You can just sort of, you know, position it wherever you feel like. And it's also like a little bit cropped. I think it sits really nicely again with these sort of low rise jeans. And it's a really nice thin jumper. I don't know if you can see close up, but you can almost sort of see through it. I think this is going to be very good for the in-between seasons as we head into spring. I think this is going to be a great little throw-on piece and I love again the kind of pop of detail and colour that's the stripe that goes all the way around. I'm really proud of myself for getting some good basics because I feel like whenever I thrift I get like I always just go for really like fancy fun dresses and heels and stuff which is very fun to buy but it's not stuff I wear all the time. Whereas like coats, basics, jumpers, like I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of all this haul, so. The next item is fun little accessory. This was 3 dollars and it is just a little striped scarf. I thought there was a good array of colors in here, which it would make it really, really versatile to wear. I feel like it's literally every color in the rainbow. Um, I also love the little fringy bits on the end. Obviously not with this outfit, but you get the vision. Just an easy sort of chuck on fun item. It's a bit 2000s. Cute, right? Not much else to say about that, it's a scarf. Just thought it was cute. And then finally, the piece de resistance. Um, I ended up loving three black dresses that I tried on and I was really, really torn. I kind of wanted all of them, but I made myself only get one because I, I don't go out that often, to be honest with you. I just know that I'll have all these dresses sitting in my wardrobe and I won't actually wear them. So I made myself just get one. This one is the most me dress I've ever seen. And so I'm gonna put it on for you. Okay, as I said, imagine it with like, imagine it with a tan, imagine it with heels, imagine me a bit more glammed up. I'm actually gonna take it up. I think it's a little bit too pencil. I want it to finish where this last bow finishes. Let me show you. Like that, so it's more of a mini. That's just an easy hem. I can definitely do that on my sewing machine. It's just, I mean, I said in the voiceover, but it's just very Carrie Bradshaw. Um, I feel like it's just a fun little elevated version of a little black dress. I love the straight neckline and the little straps. I feel like I could almost even tuck the straps in and wear it as a strapless moment. I just feel like it fits me so perfectly. Um, and it's also just very comfortable. Like I feel like I could eat a meal in this. Like I think cause this spans across like the stomach section and like the waist. The last thing you want when you're on a big night out is to feel that you're having to suck it and that you don't feel confident in what you're wearing. And I just know that I feel confident in this. I also have a bag that I think would work really well with this. Um, Sarah and I did like a thrift bundle exchange. Um, I'll link the video somewhere so you can watch it. But she got me a bag, which is like a perfect match. I feel like this is just really cute together and like similar vibes. I love it with the hair up actually. And this was 18.99, so it was a little bit pricier than some of the obviously more basic pieces, but um, I think it's well worth the price. I would definitely pay a lot more for this. Um, it feels like really good quality as well. So I'm very excited to have an occasion to wear this. It's actually my birthday next month, so this could be a fun birthday dress. Anyway, that is everything that I got. Oh, total. So my total for the whole shop was 71.73, and I got two tops, two jumpers, coat, a scarf, and a dress, which I think is not bad at all. Both times I've been to that Savers, I have been pretty successful. So I would fully recommend Savers in Footscray. That is it, that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching and coming with me if you've made it all the way to the end. Wow, I appreciate you very, very much. Please subscribe if you're not already. Um, I post a lot of these types of videos as well as styling videos and other fun little mini vlogs. Um, and yeah, follow me on Instagram at ellenwalker1. It's the same handle as here. Moose is just booshing the camera with his bum. And I will see you again for another video. Bye.